I've spoken to ooh, close to 100 product marketers now, I think. Uh, it might be, a, again, a, a generous number, but pretty close to it. And in every conversation, your, your, your you know, observation is correct that how that individual's day-to-day -day looks and how their own responsibilities are defined within their org varies dramatically depending on a number of factors. Are they a solo PMM? Are they one of a small team, a medium-sized team? Are they one of a very large team? What stage of growth is that company that they find themselves in at? Uh, are they a step? Are they pre-seed? Are they, you know, um, uh, gaining traction? Are they, you know, are they achieve product market fit? Uh, and then, you know, what kind of customers are selling into? Like, there's so many different factors at play that dictate what any given product marketer's area of focus is at any given time. And, you know, it's funny because even within uh, their product marketing alliance, which which I'm a, an active member of. We have a number of templates and guides, and I find it so funny when you when you ultimately go and apply those templates, they're very good starting and jumping off points, but they end up morphing and evolving so dramatically depending on how you're trying to apply it and, and what who you are as a product marketer. Um, so you're right, there there is a very nuanced element of product marketing. There's obviously some core tenants, right? You, you mentioned them, sales enablement, go to market, positioning and messaging, um, competitive intelligence, there's a whole host of things. Um, but how those ultimately get executed day to day can, as I said, vary dramatically.